Alright, so we're going to show you how to install your key onto your keyboard and we're going to start out by looking at the metal plates that are on the keyboard itself. You can see at the bottom here there's two metal hooks and at the top there's two metal pieces that have holes in them. So make sure to look at the different keys because they can change position. Uh, the hooks that in this case are at the bottom they can be at the top or maybe even the sides. So the position for those pieces determines the position for these pieces here. And um, what we're going to do now is click these two pieces together to make uh, one piece. And we're going to start out by determining the position of the large piece first. Um, you can see that at the top here it has a bar let me focus that a little better. Okay, um, at the top here, it has one bar, and it has a bump in the middle. And at the bottom, the large bar is just one smooth piece. So make sure not to put the whole piece upside down like that, because it looks the same but if you feel underneath the sidebar uh, if you feel a bump uh, that faces the keyboard and on top it's supposed to be one smooth piece so now that you know the position for this piece you put it down for now in the right position uh, you get the next piece which is this and you can see that at the top it has two holes and at the bottom it has just one bar so same thing, make sure not to put the whole piece upside down like this by feeling underneath the sidebar. The bump faces the keyboard and the smooth part faces up. So now that you know the position for both pieces, you um, you get both pieces and we're going to put the small piece right in the middle, right um, in the middle of the, the larger piece. Now you can see the large piece has two pins in the middle. Uh, let's try to focus. I don't know why it's not focusing. Okay, uh, well, it has two pins in the middle. So the small piece has two holes in the middle. And we're going to click those in. Do one side first. Then you hold that side in so it doesn't come back out of place like it just did and uh, we need to put the pin of the other side onto the hole now so what we have to do is stretch the large piece away from the small piece so that the pin has enough space to actually go into the hole let's go ahead and separate both pieces a little more okay alright so now both pieces are one piece what you have to do is just put the um, the bottom bar of the small piece underneath the hooks. In this case, they're at the bottom. So you hold that in place, and then you get something thin. What we're gonna do is stretch. Um, I mean, put the uh, pins that are at the top of the large piece into the holes that are in the metal plate. So yeah, do one side first, and then, uh, you know, the other side, we're going to have to push towards the center. Okay, now, before all that, I forgot to say, uh, make sure that the metal plates are straight up, because they can bend sometimes. Now that you have this down, um, you get your key, you put it right in the center, and just push down evenly on all four sides. This can take a few seconds just because there's, um, you know, it slides and stuff. So there you go.